Welcome back to Tennis Talk. My name is Cam Williams, and we are here for the weekly ranking show where we go through all the ATP and WTA rankings for the week. And things are starting to get serious. On the WTA, WTA finals are just around the corner. We have one week to go, and there's five spots up for grabs. Big changes this week in both the men and the women's rankings. Of course, Indian Wells was this time last year as well, so a lot of points have fallen off for some players. Last week, we had four tournaments, two on the men, two on the women. Let's go check them out. So we're going to start with the WTA results from last week. And at the Transylvania Open, we had Blinkova defeating Paolini, 6-2, 3-6, 6-2. On the indoor courts of Romania, so Blinkova getting a win. Over at the San Diego Open, we had Igor Sviantec defeating Vekic, who came in as a qualifier. It was a three-set battle, 6-3, 3-6, 6 love. Sviantec lifted her eighth trophy of the season. Over on the men's side, we had the Gijon Open with Rublev defeating Korda, 6-2, 6-3. And Rublev got a nice boost of points going to his total ahead of the ATP Finals in a month's time. And over in Florence, at the Florence Open, we had Elia Seem defeating Wolf. 6464 six, and just like Rublev, FAA is looking for a lot of points to try and qualify for the ATP final. So he got a nice boost as well, winning his second trophy of his career. All right, let's go have a look at the WTA rankings this week and some big changes due to the points from Indian Wells falling off from this time last year. Sviantec, though, she stays number one, of course. She cannot be stopped. Jabir, number two. Contivator, number three for now. But remember, Contivator has a lot of points over the next two weeks to defend. And she's out for the season. So don't expect her to be there much longer. But Paola Barossa, she drops down five spots, losing 1,000 points from Indian Wells this time last year. Winning that title, she's gone down to number nine in the world, making way for everybody else to go up an extra spot. So Sabalenka goes up to four. Pagula goes up to five. Zachary up to six. Goff goes up to seven, which is a career high for her. And Halep goes up to number eight, despite not playing. But yeah, but also down to number nine, five spots lower because of those Indian Wells points that fell off. And at the number 10, Garcia stays there for now with Guadalajara around the corner. Big points up for grabs next week. Looking at the WTA finals race now. And as I mentioned, three spots have now been taken with Pagula being the third player to qualify at the start of last week. She made the semifinals of San Diego as well. So that did help her cause. So she is now the third player to qualify behind Sviantec at one, Jabur at two. At number four, Coco Goff. She's only 100 points from qualifying, so she's very close to being the fourth player. But we have a bit of a change in the middle with Sabalenka going up to number five, making a quarterfinal last week, and both Garcia and Kazakina going down after having poor results last week. So a little change in the middle there. Sabalenka five, Garcia six, Kazakina seven. Kudamatova's at number eight, so she is where the cutoff is. Zachary at nine, but we do have a change on the bottom. Bencic, she doesn't play last week, so she dropped down to number 11 with Bedosa making a quarterfinal in San Diego, going up to number 10, going into next week. And next week, 900 points up for grabs. The last tournament of the year to get points. And there's still like 10 players that could qualify. Five spots left, around 10 to 15 players that could qualify. Technically, it's going to be a huge week next week in Guadalajara. Let's have a look at the players that have gone up in the rankings last week, outside of the top 10. Vekic, she's gone up 30 spots to number 47 in the world after making it to the final of San Diego as a qualifier. So got rewarded there. And Blinkova, she's gone up 58 spots to number 80 in the world after winning in Transylvania. So two players getting a huge boost to finish off the season. Going down to the rankings, we had Ostapenko. She went down six spots to number 23 after failing to defend the points she lost at Indian Wells last year, which is unfortunate because she didn't really have a chance to defend them. And Azarenka also dropping down 13 spots to 37 for the same reason, making the final last year at Indian Wells from this time last year. Remember, it was in October. She dropped down the rankings after losing those finals points. So very unlucky for two players who didn't get to defend the points because there wasn't a big event to cover those Indian Wells points from last year. Let's go have a look at the men's side of things now. And not too many changes to the top 10 up the top with Alcarez still at number one, Rafa at two, Root at three, Medvedev at four, Sitsipas at five, Zverev still at number six, Djokovic at seven. But we do have a little change down the bottom here with Rublev going up to number eight, pushing Fritz down to number nine after Rublev played and won in Spain last week. And Cam Norrie, he goes down four spots, just like Badosa on the women's side, losing those points from Indian Wells. Lost a 1,000 points. He goes down four spots, making way for Felix Ogele Asim, who goes up three spots back into the top 10 after winning in Florence last week. So a little bit of a change down the bottom of the rankings there, but expect massive changes over the next few weeks. Let's go over the race to the finals now. And five players qualified. Uh, you've got Alcaraz at one, Nadal at two, Ruud at three, and City Pass at four, with Djokovic at five as the fifth player. Medvedev's at number six. Still has to get a couple of hundred points to qualify himself. 
We don't know when he's coming back because he just had a baby and he's also injured. So we'll keep an eye on it out on Medi. Rublev, after winning last week, gives himself a better chance. He's at number seven. FAA, he goes up to number eight, pushing Fritz down to number nine after winning a tournament last week. So he got a little boost in the rankings due to that win. And Hubi Hercatch, he rounds out the top 10 for this week. Not too many players playing next week on the ATP. So the race of the finals shouldn't look too different, but Basel, Vienna, and Paris coming up in the next month. Those tournaments are the ones where the points will matter most. Let's have a look at the players that have gone up in the rankings outside of the top 10. Sebastian Korda made a final last week. He goes up 11 spots to number 36 in the world. And JJ Wolf also made a final last week, going to a career high number 56 in the world, 19 spots higher than last week. So the Americans, the young Americans doing well last week in Europe and getting a boost in the ranks. Players that have dropped down in the rankings, just like the women's side, it's the Indian Wells players from last year. Dimitrov made the semifinals, Indian Wells last year. He drops down eight spots, number 32. And Basilashvili, he's gone down 57 spots to number 93 after losing all the points from the final of Indian Wells last year. So another tough break for those guys because those points were hanging around from October last year. They're falling off now and some players have really dropped down the ranks. So there you have it. They are the rankings for this week. Not too much to talk about on the men's side of things, but on the women's side, it is getting serious. And we have one week left until the WTA finals are completed and, or at least secured, Five spots up for grabs. Guadalajara, huge finish to the year. Who's going to make it? You tell me down below in the comments. Who do you think is going to make it to the WTA Finals? I think Goff's going to make it. She's pretty much there. She just has to win one match or two matches. But it's going to be a massive week next week in Mexico. Make sure you join us. We're going to be watching a hell of a lot of matches. But the season's almost over for the ladies, and things are getting really interesting in the rankings.